Yeah. Say go. Yeah. My name's Andy. I'm from Bath. Okay, Andy, and why are you here? You're holding up a banner that says uh, system change, not climate change. Uh, system change, climate not climate change. change. Yeah. So we have a climate crisis. We need to tackle that climate crisis or the whole planet is doomed. And the only way to change it, seems to me, is to change the system. Because at the moment, we have a current government which is just obsessed with GDP and growth. And they want us to grow by 3% a year every year, which means that doubling the amount of stuff we use from this planet every 24 years and we just simply cannot afford to do that. Alright, so yeah, so uh, business as usual means... Business as usual means the end of life as we know it on this planet and more importantly for me actually is it's the life of all the other beings on this planet. It's not humans, we're doing it to ourselves, we're doing it to all the other species. Yeah. And how long do you think we've got, uh, how big a window do you think we've got to change things? Well, to be honest, I'm really concerned that we've already sort of gone past our window. The, the sort of predictions that the scientists were making about 10, 20 years ago, not only are they coming true, they're actually more, the, the changes now are more than they said we were going to have. Yeah. And so it seems to me that the next news item we're going to have will say that the permafrost is melting, that we are releasing methane, that methane's going into the atmosphere and it's causing more climate change and we'll just be on this spiral. So runaway climate change, runaway that's, climate the, that's climate. the risk isn't it? I think that is the risk. Of not doing anything. And then we, are, so our the possibility of doing something is, is the next couple of years. I mean, we need to see really concrete actions like right away. So not just declaring climate emergency and declaring net zero by 2050. We need to see some damn policies that are going to lead to that. We just haven't seen that at all. Yet. And what's your background? I mean, you seem very knowledgeable. You know. Well, I. I was, I'm a scientist, I did research on climate change in, in the polar regions. So oh, okay. I've seen a bit of the change that's happening in the poles, which okay. is where climate change is happening in the past. So you understand the science? I understand some of the science, I believe, yes. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean, a lot of people say, well, science, what do they know? What, what do you say to that? Oh, it's so annoying. Isn't it? Science is very, very rigorous. They, every time you produce some results, they are checked by lots of other scientists. Peer reviewed, you know. Peer reviewed, yeah. that's yeah. right. You know about peer review, and I believe what the science, what the peer reviewed science tells us. And it's not difficult to find peer reviewed science. Yeah. I know there are some scientists that still continue to produce results in slightly odd publications. But peer reviewed science is peer reviewed science. Yeah. And you can't, I believe you can't argue. And with we've got a. With this, it looks like there's a consensus, but by pretty much 99 percent of scientists. Is that yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, I think that's right. 99. Yeah. So, what do you think is behind uh, the reticence of government and uh, business to to change? What's, what, why don't they do that? I don't. I mean, I, you know, sometimes I think, oh, it's you know, vested interests, and so it's easier for them to just continue the current model because that's generated returns for their shareholders for years after year after year. And then other days, I kind of think it's so obvious that that there are there is more money if you want to be made on renewables and the, the solutions to the problem rather than just making the problem worse. So I don't really know the answer to that question. I think it's a really difficult one. Yeah. I mean, just speaking personally, uh, you know, I often think, well, as long as we put profit before people and planet, we are screwed. And we need to find uh, a different motivating factor. But the whole, it's so, it's so hardwired into the system as it is. It is. That people, even in the system, find it very difficult to change. So that's why we need. I mean, that's why we need system change. Because clearly, the way the current governments are um, are operating yeah. isn't working. Not, so we yeah. need to move to let's have some citizens' assemblies. And see what that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we need those citizens' assemblies to have a bit of uh, have some teeth, don't we? Well, yeah, obviously, there's no point in the Citizens' Assembly unless it does have some teeth, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, great talking to you.